Namaskar, welcome to the Government e-Marketplace. Today we will learn about forward auction, contract and invoice creation. In this video we'll guide you through the process of managing your contracts and creating invoices as a forward auction FA seller. In this module we will be looking into the following. Contract creation by FA seller, invoice creation by FA seller, manage payment detail by FA buyer and verification of payment detail by FA seller, discrepancy invoice. Now, let's look at the overview. This functionality is designed for both FA sellers and FA buyers. It becomes available once the FA buyer has paid the transaction charges for the respective items. If transaction charges are not applicable, the functionality will be available after the H1 bid is accepted by the FA seller. Essentially, this feature allows for the creation and management of orders and invoices between FA sellers and FA buyers. Now, let us look for contract creation by FA seller. To begin, you'll need to log in to the GEM portal. Please go to the website gem.gov.in. On the top right hand side of the page, click on the Login button to proceed. Once you've successfully logged in, you will land on your GEM homepage. To access the Forward Auction features, navigate to the main menu bar. Click on Forward Auction and then from the drop down menu, select Auctioneer Login to continue. After logging in as an FA seller, you'll be taken to the Search Auction page. Here, you need to find the specific auction for which you need to create an order and invoice. You can search for your auction using the search bar provided. You can search by auction ID, organization, or auction brief. Once you find the correct auction, you will see a list of actions available for it. To open the specific auctions dashboard, click on the auction dashboard link. On the auction dashboard, you will see various tabs related to the auction. To proceed with contract creation, you first need to access the auction results. Click on the auction result tab. Within the auction result section, you'll find a tab labeled order and delivery. Click on this tab. From there, select manage contract and delivery to move forward with the process of creating your contract and invoice. Now you are on the Manage Contract and Delivery page. This is where you, the FA seller, can find all the details related to the auction, including contracts, invoices, completion certificates, and payment details. You can use the search parameters provided to filter and find specific contracts or invoices as needed. On the Contract and Completion Certificate tab, you'll find a button on the right-hand side that says Create Contract. Click on this to begin. Please note that this option will only be available after the transaction charges have been paid by the FA buyer. A new form will appear. The first step is to select the item for which you wish to create the contract. Use the drop-down menu next to Item Name to choose the specific item from the auction. Once you've selected the item, the system will automatically populate other fields like Entity Name, total price with GST and quantity. Your next step is to enter the contract start date and contract end date for the contract. Now, you'll see a field for EMD adjustment. You need to select either yes or no as per your requirement. If you select yes, the earnest money deposit EMD amount paid by the FA buyer will be deducted from the final invoice. If you select No, the EMD amount will not be adjusted against any invoice. After making your selection, click on the Submit button to generate the contract. Once created, contracts can be found under the Contract and Completion Certificate tab. The system will now generate a contract document. This is a sample of what the generated contract looks like. It contains all the essential details of the agreement, including the contract ID, dates, buyer details, and a summary of the item and its value. This document serves as a formal agreement between the FA seller and the FA buyer. Now that the contract is successfully created, we can move on to the next step, invoice creation. The moment a contract is created, the Create Invoice option becomes available. 
To create an invoice for the contract you just generated, click on the Create Invoice button. On the Create Invoice page, you'll need to select the specific item contract ID from the drop-down menu for which you wish to create the invoice. This links your new invoice directly to the previously created contract. After selecting your item contract ID, the system will populate other fields. The next critical step is to select the invoice type. You will be given two options from the drop-down menu, quantity-based and percentage-based. Let's take a closer look at these two invoice types. Quantity-based. This is used when you are invoicing a specific number of items that have been delivered. Percentage-based. This is used when you are invoicing for a percentage of the total contract value, which is common for milestone payments or partial deliveries. When the invoice type is chosen as quantity-based, the following field needs to be updated, quantity to be lifted. The FA seller will input the exact number of items to be lifted or delivered. Total price to be invoiced, the system will automatically calculate the total amount to be invoiced. This calculation is based on the number of quantities specified by the FA seller. Is TCS applicable? If yes is selected, a new field will appear in the next step. Percent of TCS, the FA seller will enter the percentage of tax collected at source, TCS, that needs to be deducted from the FA buyer. This percentage will be applied to the total price to be invoiced amount. Total price to be invoiced including TCS, this is the final amount to be invoiced, which includes both the total price to be invoiced and the calculated TCS amount. Here is an example of the form when quantity based is selected. You'll enter the required details in the fields and then click on the submit button to proceed with creating the invoice. When the invoice type is chosen as percentage based, the following field needs to be updated, percentage of total price, where FA seller will input percent to be lifted of total price with GST. Total price to be invoiced, system will auto calculate amount based on percent of total price. Is TCS applicable? If selected as no, no further inputs will be required. This is what the form looks like when percentage based is chosen. You will enter the percentage and any other required details before clicking Submit to generate the invoice. The newly created invoice will be listed under the Invoice and Gate Pass tab. Just like the contract, you can download a copy of the Invoice and Gate Pass from the Action column for your records. After you, the FA seller, have created and submitted the invoice, the FA buyer will need to make the payment. It's important to note that this payment is not made directly on the GEM portal. The buyer will then log into their account and update the payment details against the respective auction, confirming that the payment has been made. Now, let's switch gears and follow the process from the perspective of the FA buyer. We will discuss for managing the payment details by FA buyer and its verification by FA seller. The FA buyer will begin by logging into the GEM portal, just like the seller. They will go to gem.gov.in and from the forward auction menu, they will select FA buyer login to proceed. The FA buyer will then enter their credentials, their email ID and password and click on login to access their dashboard. Once logged in, the FA buyer will search for the specific auction for which they need to make a payment. Once they find the auction, they will click on the Contract and Invoice button to view the details. On this page, the FA buyer can find all the details related to the auction, including contracts, invoices, gate passes, completion certificates, and payment details. They can use the search parameters to filter and find the specific invoice they need to process. Under the Contract and Completion Certificate tab, the FA buyer can view a list of contracts created by the FA seller. They can download a copy of the contract and the completion certificate from the Action column. This allows them to verify the contract details before making any payment. Next, the FA buyer will go to the Invoice, Payment and Gate Pass tab. 
Here, they will find the list of invoices created by the FA seller. The buyer can download a copy of the invoice and the gate pass from the Action column. This is the document they will use to process the offline payment to the FA seller. The mode of payment will be as specified by the FA seller. After making the payment offline, the FA buyer must update the payment details on the GEM portal. To do this, they will click on the Manage Invoice Payment link located in the Action column next to the relevant invoice. A form will appear where the FA buyer needs to enter the payment details. This includes the payment mode, reference no, bank name, amount, payment date, and they must also upload the payment receipt. After entering all the required information, they will click on Submit. Once the details are submitted, the payment transaction history will be updated and visible to the FA buyer. The payment status will initially be shown as pending for review. This entry will serve as proof that the buyer has updated the payment details on the portal. Back to the seller. Under the Payment tab, FA seller will have two options. View Payment Detail. By clicking on it, FA seller will be able to view payment details entered by FA buyer. Verify Payment Detail. By clicking on it, FA seller will be able to verify the payment details entered by FA buyer. FA seller will see payment details entered by FA buyer and either accept or reject it based on details furnished and payment received. If the payment detail is OK to go ahead, FA seller will approve it with remarks. If the payment detail is not OK to go ahead, FA seller will reject it with remarks. On rejection, FA buyer will have the option to update payment detail against that invoice, enter the required details and click on Submit to proceed. Once payment is verified and accepted by FA seller, there will be system generated gate pass, which can be downloaded from invoice and gate pass tab. Gate pass will contain information related to items of this auction to be lifted. FA buyer can now view and download the gate pass document. Here is the sample document which can be referred. The FA seller can download a copy of the system generated gate pass from the invoice and gate pass tab by clicking on the download icon in the action column. The gate pass is an essential document for facilitating the delivery of the goods. Now, we will discuss discrepancy invoice. What if there's an issue with the delivered goods? The gem portal has a feature for that as well. The Discrepancy Invoice option allows the FA buyer to raise a discrepancy if they find an issue with the invoiced quantity. Here are some key points about this feature. FA buyers can raise a discrepancy only against the invoiced quantity. The discrepancy can be raised only on the latest invoice. Only one discrepancy can be raised per invoice. Once a discrepancy is raised, it is sent to the FA seller for approval. If the FA seller approves the discrepancy, the system will reflect it accordingly. If the FA seller rejects the discrepancy, the system will not update it as a discrepancy quantity. Due to discrepancies, any payment settlement will be handled offline between the FA buyer and FA seller. The discrepancy process does not impact the invoice or the generation of a discrepancy invoice. Gate pass will be generated based on the invoiced quantity only. Once the payment against that invoice is approved by the FA seller, the gate pass will not be affected by the discrepancy. The introduction of this discrepancy invoice module will not change the current process for transaction charges. To raise a discrepancy, the FA buyer will go to the discrepancy invoice tab and click on the create discrepancy invoice button. The buyer will then select the specific item for which they want to raise the discrepancy from the drop-down menu. Mention the required details like discrepancy quantity, upload reference document and then mention the remarks accordingly. FA seller can also view and verify the discrepancy invoice created under the discrepancy invoice button. Under discrepancy invoice tab, FA seller will have two options, view discrepancy invoice. By clicking on it, FA seller will be able to view discrepancy invoice details entered by FA buyer. Verify discrepancy invoice by clicking on it, FA seller will be able to verify the discrepancy invoice details entered by FA buyer. 
post that FA seller will see details entered by FA buyer and either accept or reject it based on details furnished. If you choose to accept the discrepancy, the system will ask you to provide more details. You'll see the remaining pending quantity from the original contract. You must then enter the available quantity you intend to deliver next. The unavailable quantity is automatically calculated by the system, indicating the units that will not be supplied due to the discrepancy. After entering the required details, click Submit. Once all invoices for the contract are successfully generated and the buyer has made all payments, the GEM system will auto-generate a completion certificate. This certificate can be downloaded by both the buyer and the seller from the Contract and Completion Certificate tab. Simply click on the download icon next to the contract ID. This is a sample of the automatically generated completion certificate. It acts as the final official record of the contract's fulfillment. The document contains all the crucial information, including the total quantity to be picked and the final unavailable quantity. To wrap up, here are some key takeaways from the process. Create contract option will not be available until the transaction charges has been paid by FA buyer. During contract creation, if EMD adjustment is selected as yes, then EMD amount paid by FA buyer will be adjusted in the last invoice. The final total amount on the last invoice will be determined after the EMD amount is deducted. Once the contract is created, create invoice option will be made available. At the time of creating invoice, FA seller will have the option to select from two invoice type, quantity based and percentage based. After creation of invoice by FA seller, FA buyer will have to make offline payment against respective invoice and update that payment detail on GEM. FA buyers can raise a discrepancy only against the invoiced quantity. The discrepancy can be raised only on the latest invoice. Thank you.